Good afternoon, boy. Beautiful sunrise this morning. Call it a sunrise delight. These nice colors taken by Chad Carr looking at the Ochre Mountains. Now, here's another one. I call it uh, superb sunrise taken in Leighton by Tracy Talbot. Oh, just gorgeous. These puffy clouds are precipitation falling from them and then evaporating before reaching the ground. And we're seeing some of that as I took this photo in the Kearns area looking over the Wasatch, this snow falling in the mountains, but just dribbles in the valleys because it's so dry near the surface. But the mountains, a little higher up, higher humidity. And yep, you can see the snow falling and uh, look like the Albion Basin almost invisible right now. We might pick up a quick inch of snow, but this is not a serious storm as it moves through the area. Uh, the bigger one is off the coast of California. So we have this little one, we have this bigger one and a big one there. And then another one behind that and even one more likely to develop going into early April. So very active right now, just spits and sputters of showers and they're right over parts of Juab, Tooele, Utah Salt Lake and Summit, Was Wasatch counties, those areas. And some of the showers are fairly heavy right now, as you could see when I showed you the snow picture up at Alta. So light showers mainly hitting the mountains. So the Stansberries and also the Ochres picking up some showers, dribbles in the valley across the west side. And again, that snow precipitation coming into parts of the Uinta and Wasatch Mountains. So temperatures, it's too warm to snow in the valleys, that's for sure, 50s and 60s, with a uh, fairly active weather pattern coming in. Possibility of a few showers today. Possibility of a brief shower in the mountains tomorrow. Should turn breezy and quite windy on Friday into Saturday. Here we go Saturday rain and snow, snow mixed in on the benches, maybe even all snow on the benches. The mountains will certainly see snow. This will move into southern Utah and kind of pause. We'll get a little break in the north Sunday morning, but during the afternoon, this whole storm system continues to fill in and a northwest flow very favorable for the Wasatch Front. Monday, spotty showers mainly in the morning. You can see we are at 6 a.m. and then 6 p.m. Again, a slight chance for showers Monday, but a slightly bigger storm will roll through on Tuesday. That'll bring a period of precipitation, rain and snow showers. We'll get a break on Wednesday as the ridge builds and then on Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, pardon me, on Thursday. So both Tuesday and Thursday, very active as this next storm front comes in, that'll slide by. And then here's our next one that will be in along about Saturday night, Sunday. So a very, very active pattern. You can see West Coast all the way through Utah, above average precipitation, eight to 14 days. This is 329 through 44. So extremely active, 64 in the capital city today. 64 as well in Cedar City and 64 in Vernal and Price. A lot of 64s today, although 74 in St. George. We'll check, check in with those showers Saturday afternoon into Sunday, and then a pretty good chance on Thursday of next week out of the forecast range. Spotty showers until about 2 or 3 p.m. Then they should be tapering off by this evening, giving us improving weather with 65 for the high temperature Friday and Saturday, that rain mixing with probably changing the snow on the benches, certainly in the mountains, Saturday, Sunday, slight chance on Monday, pretty good chance on Tuesday and again on Thursday of next week. Highs drop back into the 40s and lows in the 20s and 30s. Let's look at your weather forecast. Have a great day and be safe out there.